Guys, what's going on? I have got a new niche that we are testing with my lead generation company. And if you look really closely, you can see that little smart car there that's wrapped with the evergreen. I'm out here, we just had a detailer come, clean the boat, wipe it down, do the windows, do the whole thing. I was checking it out and I decided, you know what, this would be a great spot to make a video, even though the lighting's kind of crappy. So uh, here's what happened is, as I always say, I'm always, always, always open to trying new niches, okay? Um, I think it's great. As long as it fits the criteria, as long as it is high ticket, as long as there is search volume, and as long as it is phone driven. However, if I'm gonna try a new niche, I am going to make sure there is somebody who is already willing to pay for it, somebody who is already, already willing to give me money, and I'm gonna tell them the associated risks and say, hey, I've done this for this niche and this niche and this niche. I've never done it for this one. However, let's do it, let's, do, let's, let's roll, let's see what happens, but here's the associated risk. So here's what happened is we had an old client. He used to be a guy that we sold concrete leads to. And he started getting bigger in business and he, as a lot of these guys, they like to do commercial because they're bigger size jobs. And he got into the commercial stuff. And so the, <clears throat> all the leads that we were sending him, you know, they were residential leads, which is typically what you're gonna get. And so anyway, long story short, we ended up splitting ways on good terms, but he was just chasing commercial jobs. Said, cool, no problem. Anyway, this guy calls me because, here's a lesson to be learned, we didn't burn a bridge. We, I wasn't a dick and said, hey, screw you, you're not gonna buy my leads, I'm not talking to you again. There's a lesson right there in that. Do not ever burn a bridge. And I love the line on King Arthur, if you guys haven't seen that movie, phenomenal movie. And the line on that show is he says, why have enemies when you can have friends, right? Why have enemies when you can have friends? And that's my motto as well. It's like, if I have a client, it doesn't work out, cool. Like if you screw me with money, that's one thing, but if it just doesn't work out, I'm gonna try my best to make sure that we're still cool. Anyway, this guy calls me, it has been over a year. And I got this call and I honestly thought it was an employee because he has the same first name and, and the same spelling as one of my old employees. And I was like, oh wait, that's not my employee, that's my old client. And I, I, I answered the phone and I was like, yo, I said, are you good, dude? Like I haven't heard from you in a minute. Is everything cool? He's like, yeah, man, everything's great. He's like. I'm starting a pool business. I'm gonna start doing pools. And I said, you mean pool cleaning or pool installation, pool construction? He said, no, I'm gonna start putting pools in. In fact, I already have. He said, I want, you, I want you to get me leads in the same area. And I said, okay. I said, just so you know, like this isn't something, because the only thing I've done in this space is fiberglass pools, just so everybody knows. And I've talked about this before. I've done fiberglass pool installation. It's been amazing. Anyway. So I told him, I said, let me do the homework. Let me look at the city. And I said, if you remember what you were paying before for concrete, it's probably not gonna be the same because these are bigger jobs, it's gonna be more competitive, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Let me look at the city. Let me see how much it's gonna cost us first to generate the lead. And then I'll come to you. We'll put together a six month deal and see how this thing goes. He said, sounds great. So we go, we have our team do the research. We look at it. Competition's super low, okay? It's high ticket. These pools are huge. I have a pool. These pools are not cheap. So it's high ticket, but what's crazy about pools, this is why I really like this niche and why you guys should be paying attention to this niche, is even though you spend that much money, okay? By the way, you can see a little bit of sweat just gathering. It is not, it is not cool in this garage for the record. Anyway, just even though pools are really expensive, what's interesting about them is when I was getting bids, I didn't give a rat's ass about the company name. I simply got bids and I said, what's your price? Cool, okay, why is it cheaper? Why is it more expensive? Because here's what's crazy. A pool is a pool is a pool. And as long as you're doing a gunite pool instead of a fiberglass pool, as long as they're not a brand new company, you, I mean, it's, it's really like, you're just gonna go with the person that you feel the best about that has a reasonable price. That's what I did. So here's what's gangster. In this specific city, the cost per click was two bucks. Two dollars per click for the main keywords. And we're talking about huge jobs. We're talking about $100,000 pools, $80,000 pools, depending on what part of the country, $60,000 pools, $120,000 pools with $2 a click, come on. And so we saw this, I said, that's great. 
let's go look at the competition. Let's see what kind of competition, which usually if it's low CPC, it's low competition. Sure enough, we do the homework. This is a freaking wide open laydown. Anyway, why am I sharing this? Because guys, I want you guys to know, number one, I'm in this game with you. I am doing this. We are putting deals together every single day. We are double, tripling, quadrupling down on lead gen properties, on digital real estate, say on rank and rent. I'm telling you guys right now that if you do not take advantage of what is happening right now, it is a land grab with this industry right now. And if you do not take advantage, it is going to be the biggest regret of your life. Trust me. And I will not have that regret. So if you guys are like, hey, I, I keep hearing about concrete, and I keep hearing about this, and I keep, and I want something new, there's a new one for you. Now, I haven't done it enough to where I can confidently say, hey, let's go and do it in every city that does pools. But as I said, I'm willing to test out any niche that fits the criteria that somebody else is willing to pay for. And I am very upfront with these people. I let them know, hey, here's associated risk. I don't have any you know, case studies other than my fiberglass one. But everything that I can see says it's gonna check the box. So let's freaking shake and bake. So there's a couple lessons to be learned there. Again, don't burn bridges. Don't be afraid to try new niches. Just let, the, just let your customer pay for it. And guys, if you think we have saturated rank and rent, if you think this is saturated, you got another thing coming. We have not even, we are in like five niches. Everyone out there is making this money in the same five niches and we're trying new ones. I'm trying awnings right now. I'm trying excavation. I'm gonna give you guys updates on this stuff. Now I'm trying pools. As we discover these new niches, we're gonna just have more, hundreds and hundreds and thousands of cities we can go after. So. I'm trying pools, pool, not pool cleaning. I don't really love pool cleaning niche, but pool construction, pool installation, same thing, just different term. I am going after hot and heavy. I'm excited. I will be sharing the results and I'm out. Mm -hmm.